Hello guys, my name is Kishan and today we are going to look at an Oracle SQL interview question and this question is related to say something like a subquery where you are asked to fetch uh, some records when those records meet a specific condition. So suppose you are asked to fetch all the employees from the employees table where their manager's salary is greater than $15,000 say. So this example I have pretty much uh, structured on the HR schema of the Oracle database you know where you have the employees table and the departments table if you're not familiar with it no problem I just explain the table structures first and then start with the queries now to um, get this output you know where you are asked to find a particular records based on some other records you can do it by using an in statement uh, subquery is using in or you can use the exist clause that is correlated subqueries and you can do it also with self joins so I'll show all these three ways for this example so I'll just hop on to my SQL developer so what I want over here is this is my employees table okay it has employee ID first name last name email phone number hire date job ID salary the commission PCT manager ID and department ID so if I'm asked on this structure okay this is my structure to find all those employees okay say suppose let's take employee ID first name last name all find all those records whose manager makes more than 15,000 okay so see all of these details are in this very same table okay so when you want to do it so first of all uh, the question is find employees where the manager makes more than 15,000 so what will be uh, what will be our first step so if you're using an in what you would do is you will first select all those ma uh, employees who make more than 15 okay because then every employee itself will be the manager of other employees so first of all select the select staff from employees where salary greater than 15 so these three employees employee ID 100 101 and 102 they make more than 15,000 the salary is more than 15,000 okay so now I need to find all those record where manager ID is you know 100 101 and 102 right as you see in the employees table every record has manager column with some manager ID right so I will find all those records where manager ID will fall into these three uh, IDs that is 100 and 100 101 and 2 because they are this, those records which are making more than 15,000 okay so first my query will start like select these employees so I'll take employee ID from employee table where salary more than 15,000 so I got those records now I'll find all those records where the manager ID falls into them so I'll write my manager ID in so this becomes this inner query becomes my subquery so first that will get executed I'll get these three records and then the rec uh, execution will be like select staff from employees where manager ID in 100, 100 and 102 like that so there will be two queries will be executed and I get all my records so how many I get I get 20 so out of 107 I get 20 records where we can see the manager ID is either 100, 101 or 102 like that so this is one way to do it using in okay in operator the next I'll do is I'll write a correlated subquery that would be using an exist so how we do that like select stuff from employees okay now I want to write the exist clause so it will be like where exist now the inner query so when you're writing an inner query many I have seen many time people mentioning column names over here you actually don't need the column name in the inner query when you're using an exist because you know whatever you write will not be considered only those rows which match the join condition will be considered so you can write something like select one from the inner uh, the same table we are joining so it, again it will be employees what I'll do is I'll give an alias of E over here 
just to you know uh, simplify an NM over here so that when I write the where clause it is easy to understand like what is joining where so where m dot employees employee ID is equal to e dot manager ID and I want the uh, salaries to be more than 15,000 so it will be like m dot salary greater than 15,000 so when you write like this as you can see I get the 20 records so what happens in an exist uh, query is like you write select star from the employees table the main query where exists so where this condition is met give me only those records so what I'm doing is I'm taking select one from employees where this table employee ID so you can consider this employees table into like two different tables with the name as E and M okay the with E you have employee ID salary and all those columns manager ID and with M also you have all these three columns again just consider them like two separate tables with M you have again employee ID salary and manager ID okay so now I'm joining these two tables so what I want is I want the employee ID to join with the manager ID where the salary is greater than 15,000 so that that is the way how we have written this the same concept you can uh, use while writing a self join okay self join is the same way say I want the employee ID first name and manager ID from the same table employees I'll give an alias of E and then again I'm joining with the employees table I'll give an alias of M okay where now this joining condition will come here also where E dot manager ID is equal to M dot employee ID and M dot salary greater than 15,000 but I need to give alias over here see this column are repeated in both this table so you need to tell from which table you want them so I want it from the first table e dot e dot e dot see you can see that all the manager IDs are either 100 101 or 102 so only those 20 records are ret uh, retrieved so what I have done over here is I've just taken this employees table two times given two different aliases and joined them join them like see for the manager ID in the first table becomes the employees in the second table and in the second table it has a salary more than 15,000 so just just a visualization you can just understand it like take that employees table not as a single one but take them as two different tables with the name of E and M so what you are jo uh, joining is the manager ID in your first table is the employee ID in your second table and again you have this salary constraint that it should be more than 15,000 so that also you are putting on your second table and you are joining them that is the easiest way to understand uh, self join so the same thing has happened in the uh, using exist also when you have done the query using this correlated subquery and we with in it is very simple but in some cases you will get a better performance with exist in some cases you will get a better performance with n so when you have a lots of record in your subquery uh, you will get better performance with exist if you have few records in your subquery you will get better performance with in you can look at the explain plan many time in are just converted to exist so this is how you can just find out you know data from a subquery in three different ways uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video please do like share and subscribe please do comments in the comment section this is Kishan signing off thank you